Hi, my name is Nick Powers and I'm the Creative Collections here at the Museum of the Shenandoah Valley. People are stocking up on food right now. We have the benefits of modern refrigeration and freezers, but for many people living in the 1800s, long-term food preservation was quite a challenge. One of the ways that people throughout this country, including here in the Shenandoah Valley, uh, decided to try and preserve their food, food long-term were through objects like food safes, like this example that you can see here. Food safes are defined by case pieces that have these ventilated and pierced tin panels. The piercing allows air to move through uh, from the front to the back and the sides. That helps preserve the food on a longer term basis, but it's also uh, hard, so it prevents uh, pests like insects, uh, mice, voles, you know, many things that you would find out in the fields that try and work their way into uh, your farmhouse. Food safes, you might know them better uh, as a uh, more vernacular term like pie safes, but pie safe is actually a, a later 20th century term that gets stuck to them. Uh, food safes in the 1800s come in a variety of forms. This is an example of a closet safe developed by the firm of Matthew Kale, who was a cabinet maker, and his partner John Henson, who was a tinsmith working in Lexington. This example was made probably around 1831 or uh, a little bit later. Uh, and we're going to open our door here. Lauren's going to help us with that. Uh, here you can see we have a couple of shells, and you can see the back of those um, pierced tins. Safes like this would house not only foodstuffs, but they would also house other objects that pests might go for, like linens, textiles, uh, and also the breathing of the tins helps those as well. And John Henson, who was born in England, ironically, is using a lot of patriotic imagery here. We have an image punched in tin of George Washington, along with Washington's name along the top here. And for whatever reason, if we look close, you might be able to see an apostrophe that separates the A and the S in Washington's name. So at first glance, you might look at it and think, Washington. We don't quite know why he did that. We also have a date of 1731 for George Washington's birth. And when it was made, this would have been accurate, but our calendar has since shifted by only a year. So if you were to look up George Washington's birthday uh, today, you would find 1732. So the closet safe is this long uh, example with, much, uh, with a lot more storage in it. We're also gonna move down the line a little bit here and look at a couple of other uh, safes typically made here in the Shenandoah Valley. This example made probably in the Folks Run area of Rockingham County is one of your more typical uh, pie safe, uh, excuse me, uh, food safe forms. Uh, one of the most important features are these tall legs and those legs elevate the case a little bit uh, off the ground enough so that it makes it harder for pests to try and reach whatever's inside. Uh, you'll usually see, once again, we have a couple of shelves uh, for storage and you might see a couple of drawers above the doors as well as a little gallery for some additional storage space if you need it. And then finally, on the far end here, we have an example of a food safe frequently called a server safe. So this is an example of when uh, safes transition from utilitarian spaces like kitchens uh, to more formal spaces like dining rooms. The, the shelf here as well as the one up here provides space for displaying uh, food but also maybe objects like lighting devices and I particularly love this example for its grain decoration. Uh, this is actually paint on a soft yellow pine and also we have some original paint on the tin panels here. This example was made by William Peatfish who lived in the Honeyville area of what is now Page County. Do you have any safes in your household? Many safes surprisingly still reside in Shendo families today.